U M L E V P P N O N K R A M U B A A R D A N M I L A B A S A Y O M O Y N H N E K A S N G I U L A P U J I N G I L I E K A S O R K A R L A K A J I N g k I N g H A D A M O M Y A M K A D A N g k l a n B A T K A D A n g s h n g a N E M N A M A R K A T E K A J I n g k i n g K A L A D O N A D O U S N E M K A T K A N D A I S P A H N R I U P O S A N H A B A J U B A B E K A J i n g k I L I U M M E N T R I K A T N A T B O R D I N G U E T M O N D A L U L A P E N T E M B A M E N T A K A S O R K A R K A L A B U D O U P O T B A K I K A L I K I B A Y A T N A N g d e y K I D I B A N K O T T A N g A R P O T O N L A N E H A P O B A N Y A T s h i s i n y a t n a k a t e k a j i n g k i n g Mr. Speaker, sir. Reply to start question number 45. Sir, as per the order issued by the Transport de Department, Government of Meghalaya, by number TPT 101 slash 2010 slash part slash 544, dated 3rd June 2022. It was notified that all loaded vehicles carrying only 20 mt gross weight or less shall be allowed to pass one vehicle at a time over the Umiyam Dam. Supplementary question, please, Pa. Sir, uh, may I know whether the government is in possession of the original reports? Of plan, design, safety parameters, and load capacity of the bridge. Yes, sir. So, as we know, that uh, this bridge had been commissioned since 1965, and it must have been 58 years old now. So, may I know whether any retrofitting? Or improvement work to strengthen uh, the bridge has taken place or not? Sir, to assess the condition of the concrete gravity dam of the Umiyam stage one of uh, hydel electric power. Sir, traffic uh, condition and the vibration measurement. Wire is studied twice by the Central Water and Power Research Station, Pune. A developed department of the Water Resources, uh, River Department, and Ganga Reservation under the Ministry of Jal Shakti Government of India. Subsequently, a study was also carried out by IIT. So, as per their Our uh, reports: the vibration are still under the controllable limit. However, they have uh, suggested for retrofitting of the bridge so that the bridge can withstand the increased traffic condition. So, on that basis, uh, we have done the safety audit of the bridge of our spillway of Umiyam. Concrete dam and rehabilitation of bridges of our spillway Umiyam concrete dam is being carried on. So, so I'm not clear with the reply. Does it mean that uh, retrofitting and improvement work has already been carried? Yes, sir. It is being carried. So, sir, we know that uh, uh, the imposition of load restriction. Was done only after the intervention of the Honourable High Court, uh, via the order which has been explained by the Honourable <coughs> Minister, which means that prior to this, there was no restriction on the load capacity of trucks plying through that bridges through that bridge. Therefore, sir, I feel, as a layman also, I could understand that it must have been the bridge must have been in a deterioration uh, condition. In its internal load resisting capacity, so how can you measure such unseen parameters uh, inside the concrete of the bridge, and even steel reinforce reinforcement must have corroded inside? Therefore, there is every possibility that this bridge may collapse one day. So, how can we get the assurance and the guarantee that such a disaster in waiting will not happen? Sir, government is seized with the uh, problem that we are facing at Umiyam Bridge, and accordingly, government has taken uh, initiative 
that another uh, uh, route can be constructed. And accordingly, uh, BPR was on the process of being made that another road uh, on the uh, up, up, upper stream of the bridge be constructed. Then the department had gone with the geological, geological survey of India for their report of whether it will be feasible or not. And at that point, point of time, as uh, the distance is very short from the bridge, the geological survey is of the view that we cannot have this bridge because of the, uh, the boring, then blasting. It may affect the bridge and also the spillway. So accordingly, they have told that, no, you go for alternative way. Accordingly, the department, PWD and the National Highway Infrastructure Development Authority, they are trying to get another route so that we can avoid this breeze and uh, 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 the new route can be constructed. Moreover, sir, this uh, stretch of road, as per the norms laid by the National Highway Authority of India, is qualified for four laning. So that process is being on, sir. Sir, so, in the reply of the Honorable Minister, has mentioned that uh, according to the notification issued by the government, that the load will be strictly allowed within 20 metric tons. So, may I know, how do you ensure that there is a 24-7 monitoring on the movement of vehicles over that bridge? Uh, is there any CCTV being fixed around that bridge? The government say that they have posted police personnel, but these can be bribed, and the bribe has already taken place in many cases. So may I know, how do you ensure that there is a 24-7 monitoring? Sir, transport department being the nodal department to check the weights, that's why the instruction has been given, and accordingly they have come with notifications. And so on, so the DC of both the Riboy and Ishkashi Hills are being alerted, they are also aware of with the situation, including the Home Police Department. Whatever it be, but uh, the Honorable Member's suggestion that whether we can install CCTV camera or not, this matter will be examined, sir. Yes. Mr. Speaker, sir, may I know from the Honorable Minister in Charge of Power, the lifespan of the dam, Aramiyam? Sir, actually, as per the construction, the life span already expired. That's why we are doing this retrofitting so that the life can be extended to some extent. Uh, sir? Yes, Brush Chauvin. May I ask the Minister in Charge Power, in case the bridge fail, has the government prepared to prevent any disaster? For example, installation of a warning system like siren or other forms of communications, list of headmen, disaster team in the district of Ribhoi, and awareness of people living downstream. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, as I have already mentioned, that uh, the uh, Central Water and Power Research Station, which is a renowned uh, institution uh, uh, from the Government of India organization. And moreover, the IIT Guwahati has already studied. So far, there is no uh, mass danger, but however, it is a good suggestion uh, will be taken note of it, sir. Yes, sir. Pungo, please. Sir, in the course of his reply, the Honourable Minister has stated that all loaded vehicles carrying only 20 metric tons gross weight or less shall be allowed. So, who is measuring the weight of the truck before it crosses the bridge? What mechanism is this? Sir, almost all the enforcement directorate, uh, I mean the department has been alerted, so Department of Transport is the nodal department, as I saw, I said, uh, they are uh, monitoring it, sir. 
Yes, your last question, Baden, please. This is the fourth question, sir. No, no. You have already okay. uh, asked four questions. This will be the fifth one. Sir, may I know from the Honorable Minister, when was the retrofitting and improvement work carried? The date, the contractors? Sir, the exact date is not there. But uh, ME GCL has issued the award of work for rehabilitation of the bridges over the spillway to MS Shancha Chana Structural Strengthening Private Limited, Thane, Maharashtra. Yes, Barinik, please. One three question on this answer. Whether the government has taken any measures to stop any other kind of activities near the dam, because that is very, very important, uh, whether it's uh, stone quarry or any construction, any kind of activities that may take place near the dam, whether the government has taken any step to stop all this. Sir, uh, government uh, has already taken a step and moreover the Honorable High Court of Meghalaya has given order also not to carry out any activities, including the querying and also. Okay, one more question. Charles. As for the information I have with me, any truck carrying more than 20 tons is not allowed to cross. But so the, a six-wheeler unladen truck itself weighs 19 tons. Therefore, just the truck alone is 19 tons. So, how do we allow any truck with any load allowed to go? The truck itself weighs 19 tons. So that, is, that is the question. I mean, let it not be a question, sir. Let the, may the minister take note of this. The truck alone itself weighs 19 tons. Therefore, there should be a total ban on six wheeler and above trucks flying on that dam. That is my submission. <coughs> sir, point noted, sir. Moreover, this is uh, the 2020 is the live load. Gross, gross. So it says gross weight. Gross weight means unladen plus load. Okay, anyway, we'll take more. Yeah, just take note of that. Okay. One last sir? Uh, question mm -hmm. for Madam, please. Yeah, this is a serious note for because this bridge and this road is a lifeline towards a state capital and even other part of Northeast also. So my humble suggestion is that the plan that have already been there with the government, with the Blue D Road Department. So I would urge the Honorable Chief Minister and the Deputy CM to expedite at the earliest the Western Bypass as well as the VIP Road which went to Umro Airport to come to Maulai so that it will ease all this problem. That is my humble suggestion. Sir, as I have already mentioned, that government is uh, on the job, sir. Even yesterday, I had a, a discussion with uh, Chief Engineer PWD, so also the ED of uh, National Highway Infrastructure Development Authority of Government of India, sir. The process is on place, sir, and it is being expedited, sir. <coughs> and not only for two lane, but it is a four lane and highway which will come to Shillong, sir. Okay. <laughs>